All right. Uh, muting. Switching over. Boop. The Gurgan quietly spoke. This earthquake is but an omen. The tremors that pulled the crystals into the earth and brought forth monsters are nothing compared to the darkness which is to come. Oh, but the text went too fast. <laughs> Four orphans have been raised by the priest Topapa in the remote village of Ur. A crystal has sunk into the earth due to the earthquake, and the four boys have now come in an adventurous mood. They had only intended to test their courage. All right. So did a test, did a bit of a test run to see if uh, this particular file would work. Uh, and for the test run, I had um, one of the tests was how many characters each character would have, and I believe the answer is six. So I went with six A's, six B's, six C's, and six D's. It was just a <laughs> test file. Here comes another Chinese earthquake. Basically. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. There we go. So you can see it now. I can, if I so choose. All right. Um. No. <laughs> uh, you I had a dumb idea. Okay, so. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, where, where's my tape? I'm gonna need to have it ready, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> That's just gonna make it even funnier. All right. Uh, she's, she's struggling so much with telling me this. <laughs> it's going to be either amazing or terrible. You'll see what I was going for with the naming convention here. Ouch! Not walking. What are you naming it? We've fallen into a pit. Uh, shucks. Are we gonna be all right? In a place like this? Hey, it was your idea to come here. Hey, if you've got time to fight, you've got time to look for a way out. Tutorial fight! Tutorial fight! Okay, so... The first three... I had, uh... Parody names of the big three in anime. Nard for Naruto. <laughs> yep, Nard for Naruto. Monkey for Goku. The old big three, we... the old big three at mm. least. Let's see. Nard for Naruto, Monkey for Goku, and Roof for Luffy. Nard just doesn't sound <laughs> no because it's also uh <clears throat> you ever heard of getting kicked in the nards i have and that's why i'm like yep i'm sure that's what you want to go with for the naruto reference i'm going with it because the series is balls <laughs> 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 You know 
you know with how with how there's only ever two relevant characters, I would agree. <laughs> uh, to to some degree at least. Oh yeah, and uh, there was only the big three, so we had a, a slot open for a fourth. So I named him Bob. We're off to a rocking start. <laughs> uh, part of me wanted to say, you know, go, you know, Dragon Ball should have been named Nard, given how many times we've seen Goku's balls. <laughs> <laughs> Uncom it's an uncomfortable amount. The only comfortable amount would have been zero. And yet, only. It, throughout the entire series, including the movies and whatever, I think only one time we've actually seen somebody in Dragon Ball get hit in the balls. Uh, yeah, it was Yamcha! Uh, what were those? Oh man, what are we gonna do now? It, of course, it was Yamcha. In the uh, final turn, in the final like World Martial Arts tournament that we got to see the full thing of, way back in the original Dragon Ball. Oh, I was thinking, um, I was thinking it was one of the movies. The uh, was it the Super Android Eight Thirteen movie? Oh, okay, yeah. The wait, no, just realized there has been three times because there was also Vegeta getting kicked in the dick by uh, Metal Cooler. Oh, right. So. Yamcha got a headbutt in the dick by God. Gia got kicked in the dick like a thousand times by Metal Cooler. And then Goku got punched in the dick by Super 13. Yeah. Huh? What's the matter? That rock's a bit odd. And now that you mention it. So that's to show us that if we inspect certain objects, things happen. <laughs> wow. I can't believe all 1,000 of them kicked you in the dick. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And apparently, Taka's original pitch for that joke was for them to, was for them to color correct uh, Vegeta's crotch to be red. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was Taka's original idea. Taka, had, Taka brought up the fact that he would pitch a joke, and uh, like as far as they could possibly go, and then it'll be uh, Kaiser and Lanny's job to reel it back to where it could be a joke they could make. <laughs> All right. So he wanted Vegeta's balls to be bleeding from you know getting kicked a thousand times. What well, I mean would make sense given that he and did. And then and then they were and then uh, I think is like he wanted. He wanted it to be shown on screen, Vegeta getting kicked a thousand times. And then they're like, no, let's just leave it as, like, you know, the implied violence from Goku's line. What the hell did I just walk in on? Oh, hey! Us talking about balls. <laughs> How you doing, Sky? Because <laughs> Emmy decided to name one of his characters in this Nard. <laughs> Nard. Yes. So, so I don't think you were in here for this, but um, I'm I, not. I'm the first three I picked as parody names. Uh, Nard referencing Naruto, Monkey referencing uh Goku, and Roof referencing Luffy. <laughs> and then I had a fourth, so I named him Bob. And I made a joke about how Nord should have been Dragon Ball, given how many times we've seen, given how many times we saw Goku's balls. <laughs> and I just kind of devolved into us talking about nut shots in Dragon Ball. My fucking god. <laughs> You, you missed a lot. And now, now you see why Remy and I do these in the server, so we can have a third person here to keep us from, like, going completely insane. Yeah, we already went off the rails on this crazy train. And nine times out of ten, the freaking third person is me. <laughs> 
How does it feel to be the third wheel? Like everyone I know is dead. Everybody is Why invited you, party pooper? I love, I love so much that that was. I love so much that the party pooper song was like an insistence from Taka because his dad would sing that to him. <laughs> Taco was like, we gotta do it. We got, I gotta do it for my dad, you know? Huh. It was really funny. It's a spring. What an odd color. Let's try drinking Fine. it. I'm also currently on my third cup of, uh, my third cup of, uh, beer. Hmm. Have they, have they done that Super Android 13 yet? Oh, oh, yeah, no, they did Super Nintendo 13 a while ago. Wasn't that where we got the line, don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut? Yeah. No, he means, like, did they do the Creator Comite for Super Nintendo 13? And yes, they did. I think that was the second Creator Comite they did with Taka in that studio. Ah. Uh. I feel like I would have watched it already if they did. Eh. They did, I just don't think it was released on Taka's channel, which is, might be why you missed it. Yeah, it was like the second or third that... one they did once Taka arrived and they started doing it as a trio. Trio, trio, trio. <laughs> also, they... Tickly tick, tickly tick. I love, I love tick. those things that they pointed out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I literally mm -hmm. got back like an hour ago. Nard, le back. <laughs> Nard leveled up, the Monkey leveled up. Shaby came back just to be wrapped up in mine and Remy's insanity. <laughs> roof leveled up. We're raising the I roof. I leveled up bullshit. <laughs> and Bob leveled up. All right. Right, I think I remember one of the things I talked about. That yeah. the, uh, that the cowboy voice they used for, like, the, and that's when, uh, bits was DJ Sex Gajillionaire. Because <laughs> I know they got him for three things. I remember one of them was, uh, the country versions of Cat Loves Food. Because Cat, you, you might not know this, but... After Cat Loves Food was introduced, uh, various times in the show, it would come up as, like, background music playing it, but done in different, like, music genres. There's two different country versions of it. Oh, that's so dumb. All right. Uh, first boss fight. Here we go. What is this? Something evil attacked. <sighs> I'm no, okay. Something evil. It's not something truly evil. Otherwise, we would have been fucked. Yep. But it's just a land turtle, so we're okay. <laughs> it's an adamant toys. No, God. that's not until later. Uh, we were given a couple of items called Southwind, so that's by gonna way, help. By the way, we're not gonna be doing the Pokemon stream on the twentieth. No, on the twentieth. Because I am doing a soul lock with with uh with soul. Ah. Uh -huh. No pun intended. Ha. Uh -huh. And okay, first turn. Also, they were talking about uh, capacity in the pop-ups down there at the bottom. We'll get into that. The crystal you began to sparkle. Hmm? Yeah. I'm thinking about it now. I would love to see something truly evil as like a Final Fantasy Super Boss. Ooh, that's an idea. All of a sudden, all of a sudden the freaking Super Boss from freaking Super Mario RPG shows up. <laughs> Q Lex. 
Helix shows up and starts playing Final Fantasy IV. Or <laughs> what the fuck? Here we go. Cutscene. The crystal began to sparkle. You have been chosen. Hey, the crystal talked. Take the last of the light, last of the hope remaining in me. At this rate, this light will soon vanish as well. The balance of everything is crumbling. When you take the light, you will be able to receive great strength from the crystals. You are the ones chosen to keep the hope. You must not let this world disappear. Light surrounded the four. That is a nice looking crystal right there. Title screen! What was that? The crystal hath spoken. The crystal has Fan translation, not for sale. <laughs> that is what the crystal has says. Do not use Nesticle to play this game. Feedback. A.W. Jaxo at csclubvwaterloo.ca King Kong, you saved me. Why, Godzilla? Mm, monkey. <laughs> Four stout-hearted warriors shall trudge forth nerd. and sweep away the darkness, so that once again the crystal will shine with the light of hope. I, I get, I get and of course, and of course, we have we have the way Remy always says "monkey," where he quotes the. The Super Mario Bros. live-action movie. <laughs> the one with Dennis Hopper going, Monkey! Yes, you pronounce it that way every time! I mean, it's a bit. <laughs> it, All right. It's just like how I pronounce Giga as a uh, Giga. Uh, Alright, so... We have now been blessed with jobs. So... Uh, for these first jobs, each of these jobs will require eight capacity to switch over to. So, first, I think I'm going to go ahead topside. And out we go. All right. Sorry, just enjoying my pizza. Brought to you by Anonymous Pizza Parlor, the best pizza you may or may not have ever known. I don't give a fuck. Ay, ay, ay. Hmm. Let's check out these shops. Uh. Pure? Okay. I assume that's meant to be antidote. Uh, let's see. Actually... Let's go into this house. I sense that something had happened to you. Now listen to what the Elder has to say. No. Yes. The man who raised the orphans, no. Topapa the Elder. Dad, we... I know. I had no idea you would be chosen, Nard, Monkey, Roof, Bob. I... <laughs> hey, Dad, why did you name us these things? Fuck you, that's why. <laughs> so basically... <laughs> Because Alucard, Guts, and a couple of other names are actually pretty cursed. So I had the 
legally distinct versions of uh, Naruto, Goku, and Monkey D. Luffy. What those? Don't worry about it. You'll learn when you're older. Oh my god. <laughs> First, you must know that this was no accident. The crystals have chosen you by their will. Don't let their power, don't let your hearts of light go to waste. Begin your journey. Seal off the power of darkness. So I feel like Bob would probably be the most serious one of them, being essentially the TN of the group. <laughs> I, I'm the most serious person in the show. That's literally my joke. I am the most serious person in the show. That is the joke. The four, <laughs> the four boys' adoptive mother, Nina. Please, take care of yourselves. Tucker? You know, these three are inseparable. <sighs> you walked right into that one. I did. I <laughs> had to make the joke. One of the elders, Homark. Spiritual capacity is needed to use the jobs granted by the crystals. So that's that thing I was talking about earlier, where there are some capacity points that you use to uh, switch over to a job. Uh, okay, so there are two types of spring. This one over here with this emblem up top, that revives any knocked out party members. And... This one here, uh, I believe, just restores HP and MP. Although, I guess if a character is knocked out, that won't matter. Alright, so... Uh... You know what? Let's... Let's disarm Monkey so that we can give him the job of a monk. Because that's basically what Goku is. He is a martial artist. Uh, let's... Let's see, uh... Let's make Naruto a fighter. Uh... Bob, let's... make him... Let's make him a red wizard. Hang on, if Bob is essentially Tien, does that mean Cell would have a freaking hate boner for him? <laughs> Kiko, fuck you. Kiko, fuck you. I, I... I just... What? All right, uh, job for Roof, I think I'll give him, I think I'll give him Black Mage. See, I thought you were going to give him Thief because Pirates. Th thief isn't available. I think that's not until the next crystal. Weird. Too close to the guy so far. Thief is essentially the closest you're gonna get this far. Uh, let's see. Let's get a nunchuck for monkey. Mm, Long monkey. sword for monkey. And uh, daggers for the other two. All dog, right. Dog, dog, dogger, dogger. Okay, so Nard has the long sword. 
Leather hat. Uh. What do you currently have guard as? Fighter. Uh, leather shield. He, he's, right? he's, he's he's waiting until he can give Nard ninja. Oh yeah, I figured that much. Uh, let's see. Equip monkey with nunchucks. Nunchuck monkey. Even even, <laughs> even though Goku never used nunchucks. Closest he got is the I'm power pole. Is monk is monkey a monk? Yep, monkey is a monk. Brass monkey. That chunky monkey. Technically, technically, just uh, three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he did, but that's not none. That's not none checks. That's a bow staff. I don't give a damn. But I was about to say the out of those three shows, the only person, the only one with a person that's used nunchucks was Naruto. And it was Guy. Yeah. AKA one of the best characters in all of anime. To be fair, Guy and Rock Lee were basically supposed to be the, the Bruce Lee references, so. Nunchucks kind of had to be in there somewhere. I, I love when it's like Guy busts out his nunchucks and, like. Wait, he's using his nunchucks? Oh, you know he's taking this guy seriously. Alright. Uh, let me see if I can get any armor. Didn't you hear? Start. Didn't you hear? They don't all... Goku doesn't always... Doesn't go, go all out at once. I know this. Trust me, it's painfully clear. He needs to take everything seriously, like Vegeta. That, or... that is, that is legitimately a like advice Beast gives Goku in the Resurrection F saga of the anime. It's like, you know, Goku, you, you really should take things more seriously. Goku doesn't learn jack fucking shit, of course, because he's Goku. Why would he? It's Dragon Ball Super. Why would anyone learn anything? We're we're not e we're not even giving yeah, him slap, the. Slap, we're slap, not even. Slap, slap, slap. We're not even giving him the excuse of oh he bonked his head as a kid so he's just stupid. Yeah. No. 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 He's Goku just stupid has to begin with. Shown in the past a capacity to learn and a capacity to take things seriously. He just doesn't in Super. You'd better take Cure from the storehouse ahead. Monsters appear along the path, so be careful. Ooh, that reminds me. Uh, give to Bob. He's the red mage, so he can actually use it. So interestingly, in that same lesson, Reese points out to Vegeta that Vegeta is too serious. He's too wound up. So basically, and that, causes, and that causes his reaction time to be slower as he's not letting himself be as loose as he needs to be. Right. That. So basically, what he's saying is that Vegeta needs to learn Drunken Fist. No, what he's saying is that Vegeta needs to stop having a stick up his ass. Mm. It's Vegeta says, "Goku, you're too relaxed. Vegeta, you're not relaxed enough." So they are essentially polar opposites. Well, yeah. So the the reason I brought up Drunken Fist was because basically the whole thing with Drunken Fist is that you're relaxed until it's the moment to strike. Yeah, I do. I do love how Weez brings up that. Yeah, no, there is, there, those are aspects of martial arts. And these two just keep forgetting Goku having zero fucking excuse because he's been a martial artist since, basically since birth. So is Vegeta. Vegeta less so. Vegeta was a soldier. 
Goku was a martial artist because he was raised by a martial artist and learned martial artists, martial arts from the, from as early as he could be. Vegeta was raised to be a soldier. Goku was raised to be a monk. Pretty much. A monk e. I'm going to what? shove my foot <laughs> up your ass. So far up your ass, <laughs> you will be a new pair of slippers. Alright there, Red Foreman. What? <laughs> I, think I don't get that reference. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure uh Silver does. What what was it that you said? I, I wanna like alright there, Red Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reference? No, we'll get to, uh so we'll get that seventy show. Yeah, that show was a little bit before my time, and although my family would always watch old sitcoms, that was one I was never really interested in watching with them. Mm. Great. That show was before my time. And yeah, I, I know, but I also brought the excuse of I never really had an interest in, watch in watching it regardless. I only really remember one episode off the top of my head, and it was when Ashton Kutcher's character, Kelso, had this hot girl hitting on him, but he was trying to be the wingman for uh, Wilmer Valderrama's character, Fez. Fez. So one of Fez. the one of the trips they had was to go to the the shooting range and practice some, you know, marksmanship or whatever. And they saw a bunny run into the range, and then the bunny got shot, and then we just see Fez popping in from the booth over with this big grin on his face saying I got dinner oh my fucking god and then the ending he was they were both like really sad and he's just like I'm so sorry about what happened to the poor bunny I guess my gun was hair trigger <laughs> I'm I, so, so it's so he's you he is you and, and then immediately after, he sees her face, and he's just like, I get it. Too soon. The, yeah, no, he's just you. <laughs> well, if he was, like, the foreigner of the group. Like, you know how in a lot of the old sitcoms and kid shows and things like that, there's that one character who's the eccentric foreigner. Yeah, Rolf. That was Fez. So basically, what I, what I just need to think of him as is a more, a slightly more mature Rolf. I guess you could say that, which is funny because at work, um, on the TVs that we have at work, I've seen him as a character on of all shows, NCIS, and he's actually really good as a serious actor. I mean, the mark of a good actor is when they can fit into any role. Well, yeah. Let's see. The candle farthest to the right is a switch for the hidden door. The switch on the other side is on the north wall. Ooh, found an antidote. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, that's the switch. You had to burn your hand twice. <laughs> I was just showing that you could inspect those. All right. Mm -hmm. Found leather, found dagger, found cure, found leather, and found a longsword. Cracked my ink, cracked my wrists, got cracked my wrists. Ah! Alright. Uh. Let's give cure to Bob. Bob is our medic. How dare you hurt Bob? Bob the medic, can we fix him? Amputate. <laughs> the crystal altar sank underground in that quake. We're doomed. Huh, so we got a little backstory going on here. 
am I? How did you get here? There are some potions in this well. That you laugh. That was legitimately a joke done by Mad TV on uh, on Cartoon Network. It was a parody of House where it was Mouse. It was Mickey. Oh my god! On the patients no. was Bob. Not that one. one. Yes, that one. <laughs> Now I'm just imagining Mickey voiced by Hugh Laurie. <laughs> yeah, I found the man was one of the patients. He had like a broken thumb. I will continue because Remy needs context. No, he does not need context. He does not need context on that one. <laughs> yes, he does. Actually, yes, he does. Ooh, 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 ooh. alternate idea. <laughs> alternate idea. Hugh Laurie's character, House. But played by Mickey. Oh my! That's literally the joke. That's literally that the joke of that one. It's just the character, but it's a Mickey Mouse voice. Gosh, Mickey, why do you never wear the lab coat? Uh huh. Well, uh, nobody likes a sick doctor. Oh, I don't blame you, Mickey. Nobody likes healthy patients. Anyways. Bob was one was a patient. He had a broken thumb. Bob's like, can we fix it? He gets fucking held down by Mickey. Mickey's cane turns into a turns into like a revving saw. He's like, nope, we gotta amputate. <laughs> oh, oh. We gotta amputate. We gotta amputate. Sorry. I another one was uh, another one of patients was Cookie Monster. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, it was so gross. Let's see. Sorry, literally, I thought you were ghosts too. Mickey literally made him throw up and then got down to the cause, which was broccoli. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It, and it, the puke was everywhere because this was still that era. It, it was mad TV. What do you expect? Three puke. Sorry, I thought you were One, ghosts two. too. Two puke. Ah, ah, ah. Then he just gets. Then Cookie Monster just pukes in his mouth. Ew. Okay, yeah, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were ghosts too. This town is cursed. There are ghosts at the inn. Huh. Yep. What's over here? Oh. I've been turned into this dreadful form by Jin's curse. Oh. Jin. <laughs> Just, just oh, here. No. Here's the power of Jin. Just blast. Oh my God! That was another one of those bits. If the the bit where Crash Bandicoot was a lawyer. Oh jeez. He had to defend the Prince of Our Cosmos in court against Sonic. Wait, what? Oh, hold on, hold on. The only thing which can reseal Jin is the Mithril Ring made in this town. Jin, who was contained in the Cave of the Seal, was freed in the Earthquake. I'm Sid from Canaan. The Neld Valley got blocked by a boulder and I wasn't able to get back to Canaan. So I decided to stay in the night of the inn here and then this happened. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Will you help me if I lend you my airship? It's hidden in the desert to the west. Heard about the airship in the Western Desert. Fanfare! Alright, so now I can continue. So, the bit was that uh, Crash was a defense lawyer, but specifically for video game characters. The Prince of Cosmos was getting sued for all the damage he was doing, you know, in the events of Kanamari. And, and Crash's rival, who hates him, he, and the prosecutor for the case was Sonic. Oh, jeez. The, the joke being Sonic hates Crash, because Crash stole his gameplay. <laughs> really? Yeah. I remember that 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 Sonic hit Crash because he saw Crash as nothing more than just a cheap copy of himself. You know what's funny? What? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Crash Bandicoot came up with that style first. <laughs> you you know what makes it even funnier? I just imagined Crash and Sonic, but in the style of Phoenix Wright. 
okay, here's the thing. Crash developed the 3D version first, but Sonic did exist before Crash. Yeah. So, Sonic did have a little bit of a point. It is kind of weird. Ooh, curse coin. <laughs> the money is attacking us. This is the danger of capitalism. bits from that oh right there was a there was a parody of, Car of katie's parry fireworks where it was a uh, flammable oh jeez it was like about all these flame all these flammable uh <laughs> inanimate object people who seem to have lost their spark her song like inspires them before it lights them on fire and she gets arrested <laughs> Fire! Oh, fire! Oh. I can see the future! Oh no, I can see me! This time is every planet! It's the future! Oh! Dang it! Well, I yeah, needed to. I'm gonna reform a race! In the future! I needed to heal Nard as well, so. I knew you'd do that! I have to kill you! Nard and Monkey got their skill up. And Monkey is blind. I'm putting something in memes and chip posting. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, when you can, Sky, in the server that you got invited into, I pinged you in the channel to let you know, uh, give you access to the thread for the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. Yeah, I noticed. Here we go. Okay. Where are the rules? Oh, right at the top. One, one big deck restriction and one and a personal one. Time lords. I'm lords. I don't even know what the fuck time lord is. Uh, I will teach you. No, I will show you exactly what time lord deck is. So that you will know and you will hate it. But I will do that later because not the topic of we're on today. We've got an airship already. What you are lucky little bitch. Is, okay, is that legitimately the fastest airship ga get in any game? As far as I recall, um, it's, it's either this or Final Fantasy. No, actually, no. You still have a while in Final Fantasy 2 before you actually get the airship and it's legitimately yours. So I would say, yeah. I would say, yeah. I, this would, is... I would say 8 is probably the longest. Now, here's the thing. Let's see. 
that so, rock right here that I'm next to, it's gonna come into play later. Doesn't my deck have links? Uh, yeah, but we can remove we we can remove those like Let's as see. we transfer it to dueling bulk. Sassoon Castle. Everyone's been turned into ghosts by Jin. Since I was away on the mission, I was spared. If I had a mithril ring, I could reseal Jin, but the village of Kazu's, where the ring is made, is in the same condition. What should I do? Oh, hello. Hello, MSO. So, MSO, I think you're gonna like the uh, the character names that I picked out for this. Hi. Oh yeah, and as for the whole fastest uh, airship get, you mentioned uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Never mind airship, you get the whole fucking school. <laughs> you fly I, I the whole school around. I have that school for very long. And I also, was as for airship as get, wouldn't that be um, wouldn't that be Final Fantasy IV? Mm. I forget, because oh, I know you go no. through like three of them, <clears throat> like two or three or something. You, here's the thing, you don't get an airship in four for a while, but that's also not the latest. I still believe that the latest airship get is eight, because you don't get an airship in eight until damn near the end of disc three, and then you right. immediately lose it. Oh, wait a minute. I see what I'm, what I'm messing up there. If you get the airship, then you get the drill upgrade, and then you get lunar whale. That's that, what that, you were thinking That was my yeah. problem. I think when it comes to mul multiple uh, airships, I might have been thinking of also of five because you have the normal one, and then you've got the other one that turns into like a boat and a sub. Yep. yep. Yeah. All right. Um. And then, and then in nine, you have uh, you have a couple in nine as well. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm about to talk to the king here. I am the king of Sassoon. We have all been turned into ghosts by Jin's curse. We cannot return to our original form until Jin is defeated. Where is Jin? In the Cave of the Seal, north of this castle. But without a mithril ring, Jin cannot be resealed. I heard that Princess Sarah has one. Not the curse. Oh, yeah. oh yes, a while ago a mithril ring was sent to Sarah from Kazus. But no one can find that irresponsible girl anywhere. Could she have been kidnapped by Jin? Oh, Princess Sarah. We'll go look for her in the Cave of the Seal. Ah, thank you. If I remember correctly, there is a hidden door in the cave. The skeletons should be the key. Please, defeat Jin and Jin. Is that what Garland is calling himself these days? <laughs> okay, so... I mean, same I exact princess really name, so I mean... <laughs> this game yep. is not the quickest airship cat. That's X2 where you start with it. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is that. You don't actually get to pilot it, but you do have it. It's your base. The monsters in the Cave of the Seal are all undead. You might defeat them by casting Cure on them. In Ted, in Ted, you get to see the see the airship. Hmm. I mean, you also <laughs> get to use the airship in Ten after a certain point. Well, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I do also love how I think. Yeah, Silver's trying to Silver's trying to say stuff. <laughs> there is a White Slayer in the left tower. It's a holy sword with power against undead, but only a Red Wizard can wield it. Well, convenient for you that we have one. So in the left tower, huh? Gonna have to remember how to get there. I do, I do love how uh, in X2, Brother and Riku named their ship the Celsius in direct opposition to uh, how Sid named the one from 10 the Fahrenheit. That actually is pretty clever. Okay, who the hell named, renamed Cookie that? <laughs> who? Okay, for, well, first off, both of those ships' names suck. Real Chads would name their ship, their ship the Calvin. And then, and then there's our, then there's our And nobody airship. got that. I got it. 
Nobody Ooh, cares about our airship. And then does our airship. Wait, so what were you saying about someone naming something? Okay. Let let Forrest talk. Yeah. And then there's our airship in uh, the D&D game, which is called the Crimson Dream. It's going to be called the Lunar Whale soon enough. Anyway. No! <laughs> what were you saying about someone naming something? Like, in you said, like, who named something what? Oh, me. Who the hell would um, to this? Oh. Cookie? Yeah. Yeah. The fuck? I don't want to say it, say it on stream. What? A particular word. Nard? I don't even know what he's talking about. It's something like... Co oh, wait a minute. Are you trying to say Koki? Yeah. Oh. Oh, because it sounded like you said Cookie at first. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I that, 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 was, know how to pronounce the that was... That was Koki. She does that to him oh. a lot. All right. So. Wait, what's so wrong about the word? Re Never mind. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I, I guess she must be feeling kind of down or something because she does that when. Yeah. Yeah. So, MSO, you might get a laugh out yep. of this. All right, what? So, um, party members' names. Parody. Oh, monkey Roof Bob. Oh, dear God. I can't wait to hear what the uh, reason for this is. <laughs> so, the reason for this naming scheme is the first three were supposed to reference the big three in anime. Nard for Naruto, Monkey for Goku, because, you know, based on Son Goku, the Monkey King, uh -huh. and Roof for Luffy. And we had a fourth huh. one. I couldn't think of anything, so I named him Bob. <laughs> I, I have officially dubbed Bob with the end of the group. <laughs> he's, he's the only serious one. That's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right, that's back up to the throne room. To be fair, he is literally the only one with an actual vault game. I mean... Mm. I Wait, I just that. realized, Roof the one that's named is... Roof is meant to reference Luffy, right? Yeah. Yes. Cause so, the... imagine someone getting confused and calling him Roofy. <laughs> I didn't I even mean, think about that. That, that works. <laughs> <laughs> that that does work. Also, I for some reason I thought Nard was like a ball joke mm -hmm. because like ow my nads, but yeah I, I forgot. Oh, it's nads and not Nards, but all right. Well, <laughs> some people have used the word I Nard for it as well. Joke. Yeah. In fact, it led to multiple ball jokes this stream already. And right now, That's Silver is fighting some balls. <laughs> he's fighting two what look like sun balls, and he's going to be fighting two eyeballs right after that. God, this this game this game is just like it's full of balls. It's balls to the wall. Damn it! You beat me to it. I'm. <laughs> I'm the only serious one here. That is the joke. So, yeah, yes, yes, you are. <sighs> So I guess, this, I, guess in this, I guess in this scenario, I am literally the TN of our group. The what? I am the TN of all of us. Because you're the straight man where everybody else is jokers? What does that make me? Wait, hold on. I still didn't get what he said. He's the, the, T, that the makes, TM? That would probably make you Vegeta. TN. I'm not Vegeta! He's, oh, refer he's... he's referencing okay. DBZ abridged. Uh, okay, yeah, well, when he said Vegeta, it's like, oh, okay, he's making a DBZ reference. I'm not a Vegeta! MSO okay. is a Vegeta! No! Oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't no, I be no, Goku no, because no, none no, of you no. can beat me? Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Drake, you're, you're Chi Chi, whereas Silver is Goku. I'll take that. And yet I beat him every time in Pokemon. I'm just here's, kidding. Here's the thing, MSO! This is a little known fact. Uh, Goku has actually never beaten Vegeta. Really now? And yet, yeah. nope. Because in, in the first in the first fight, Vegeta did beat Goku. He was going to kill Goku. Pretty pale. Gohan, Yajirobe, and Krillin came back, and they're the ones that beat Vegeta. And in the rematch in the Buu saga, again, 
Vegeta won. Goku has never beaten Vegeta. Well, either and way, I'm also making a joke. Superhero. Well, yeah, I'm also making. Superhero. Well, I'm also basing it on the joke, like, oh, you know, what anime character could, you know, could beat Goku? Like that meme debate. Oh, yeah, that's kind of also what I'm referring to. <laughs> but a uh, quick change of topic, because I meant to oh, you... mention this before <laughs> Actually, about like. Sorry, sorry, what? sorry. You, you brought that up, and my first thought was, yeah. Go on ahead, just fine. I, I can beat Goku with my favorite JoJo character. Sheer heart attack. <laughs> my god. <laughs> the Goku refuses to take his medicine because it's a great flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. I love, I love how they made that joke. <clears throat> like, they brought that they made that joke in the show because in the original dub, Goku actually, like, is hoping that the medicine was great flavor. So they're like, well now, well, now we have to make Goku actually hate great flavor stuff. Oh, crap. I think I might be boned here. I think I also picked a bad place what to save flavor. You know, I think another reason why I figured you were saying Vegeta is because, you know, everyone likes to, you know, say that Oof. Sonic took a lot of inspiration from Dragon Ball Z. And whatever, so everyone Ooh. says that everyone says that Shadow is based off Vegeta. So I figured that's what you were going for. I mean, would make sense. Now, nowadays, I think Shadow would more likely be Goku Black. No, I mean, nah. given now he's, <sighs> I, I don't yeah, know. Maybe a clone. Hey, he's a clone. If anything, what about um, what's his name? Mephiles from uh, Sonic 06. That would be oh, a Goku Black. Black. Oh, Mephiles, Mephiles the Dark. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, oh yeah, I meant to bring this up before about um, like when I was mentioning oh the ROM you were supposed to use. The funny thing, the reason I figured it out wasn't even by testing it. It was because of the file name. Because what I was thinking is, okay, I'm not gonna go through all of these ROMs individually. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a Final Fantasy three ROM, grab a translation, you know, patch, and just patch it myself. Oh. So. I found a I found a patch. I took note of the you know I, I downloaded it, and I figured okay you know maybe I don't have to download Final Fantasy three maybe you know an original ROM is in that batch, and the reason I found, or well that's when I found the ROM you're using right now in that batch because I noticed if you look at the ROM name, it has like A W J uh, yeah. S O M two freak or whatever. Those are the signatures of the people who worked on the translation patch that I was going to use. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it, it's got like, you know, high ratings on the site. It seems like it's, you know, like one of the best patches for it, at least by the looks of it. Given the description and the feedback, so yeah. That's good to hear. Oh my god, I just realized something. It's still kind of funny that there's just so many in the zip file, but it's like you said, it's probably for you know, just like every different language, but yeah. Anyway, go ahead, Sky. Soul is crawling. What? Soul is crawling. Soul is crawling? <laughs> I know he's not technically in the group, but. Oh. At least not. At least not now. Who is Krillin? Soul. Soul. Oh, Soul is Krillin. I thought you were saying Soul less Krillin. Like what? What? That that was what I thought for a second too. No way. Oh no. Oh, I don't know. I it's how you were idea. saying it. Does this does this mean that John is Yamcha? <laughs> oh my God. Do not let him hear you say that. <laughs> I don't care. Because that What's means he'll. Me? He's Yamcha. <laughs> what about Yamcha? What about Yamcha? I don't know what this Yamcha is, but he sounds just like rabbits. I just, I just realized something. With all this, this means that Koki is Bulma. <laughs> I will say I do have times where I do kind of be like Nappa, though. 
I know you do. Believe hey, what's me. the name of that one Saiyan with like the green hair? Broly? Green hair? I think so. I think I'm describing her right. Oh, female? Oh, oh her! Kale. Oh, Kale. Kale from Super. And she's only got green hair when she's in Super Saiyan. Okay, does she have like a, uh, okay, does she have like a boyfriend or someone who is like going after her or something? I don't romantically? think so. I think they just have an acquaintance. I think, she, I think, I think I they think just have an acquaintance is. who happens to be male. Okay, because I was going to say, you? whoever's going after her, because she's the only character I know of, like, I'm not a DBZ fan, she's the only character I know of who's female and muscular, and I was going to say, whoever's going after her must be Kojin. Yeah. Well, no, one, but, no one's going after Kale, but Kale certainly has interest in someone. I know who that is, too. Well, I'll tell you who it's not. It's not Kojin. Suck on that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why they're not. I do. I do. Wait, wait, what? How they made how they made the first implied lesbian character the Broly clone of Universe Six. Pretty much. It just fits, though. It it does. That's it the does. Same, no, no, that is the same way that Broly is in freaking in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Yeah, kinda. And then, and then of course we have Super Broly, who is. I mean, he's he's the best Broly. Oh he's, yeah. He's He's kind of just the younger version of the Broly we know. The younger and honestly more fleshed out version. He's also he's also the only one that ends uh, ends up in a relationship. Yeah, with what's her name, Chile? Wait, is, is that Broly technically younger? I I I don't think he, he is. Looks young. He looks younger, but that may more just be Super's art style. Actually, I just realized something. I just, I just realized something. Silver would be Master Roshi, but only when the androids are around. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yeah, I did it. Thing. I just said I, it. <laughs> I, I've repeatedly referred to, I've repeatedly referred to Remy as a mechanophile, as a Krillin. <laughs> Warning, yeah. do not fist the androids. Uh, oh god, now I'm forgetting her name, actually, but yes. Remy, I know the one, I know the girl you're thinking of. Who? Uh, when I mentioned, uh, that Super Broly is also the only Broly that is in a relationship by the end of things. Yeah, her name is, uh, Chile. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chile. Boom, Boom Beerus has a thing for it now. Yeah. I, I love how it's pointed out by Whis that Beerus is a basic bitch when it <laughs> comes to his interest in women. He <laughs> likes big tits. <laughs> Whis is like, Lord Beerus has basic tastes. Wait a second. Hold on. I love that so much. How it's literally. If Beerus just... is who I think it is. Beerus is the uh, god of destruction, the one that looks like a he's, hairless he's cat. The, he's the cat, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, the cat. Well, no shit, he likes big tits. He wants his milk. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Get out of this call! <laughs> Name. You know, I don't even really, I don't even really like making sex jokes that much. But because it's just like freaking some of you out, it's like, yeah, sure, why not? To be, to be fair, it doesn't help that one of the other characters oh in the Dragon Ball franchise is literally oh, no. just called Baby. Oh. oh no, I just saw the table. I just saw the table. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I didn't hear. It. I've never, like I said, I'm not exactly a fan of DBZ, That's... but I've never heard of this, this baby we person. Don't... What? Me... We do not talk about GT. No. Oh, right, no, that was no, a GT no, character. No, no, no. no. That's a GT up, character. Shut up. We're not GT. No. There's, yeah. there's something more cursed that came to my mind. Beerus has a twin brother, Shampa, who's fatter. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just realized. You see where this thought this is... process is going. Oh, so I finally figured out. We, I guess we finally figured out who Justin Bieber was singing about this whole time <laughs> with that baby song. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my yeah. God. I think you guys can see where my where my thought process with Champa being a fatter Beerus is going, given we talked about Beerus' interests. They probably have the same interests in women. 
No, Chapa, Chapa likes a bank. <laughs> oh, so he's into the BBW. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 To be fair, to be fair, I'm down. I'm down on that one. <laughs> that we broke you. you okay, you, this. Now you're just like bro, same with Champa. You you have respect for him now. This conversation took no, a he's turn. Still, he's still a bit. He's still a big bitch. I mean, yeah. I just, I'm just saying. I I I accept this taste. This conversation took a turn. I'm, I can just imagine you and Kojin in a conversation about this. Like him talking about muscles, you're talking about fat, and you two just like you two are on just opposite extremes. I'm pretty sure we I'm pretty sure we've gone there, haven't we? I think so, and also Kojin, I believe, once brought up strong fat. Yeah. yeah I mean that's, that's pretty much what Wario is, is, so I was gonna say just imagine Wario is a woman then and there you go. <laughs> you got your strong fat. That's funny thing, there actually is a. Uh, zero. No, the funny. Well, the funny thing is, there actually is like a Rule 63 Wario, technically legitimately, and it's when you. It's one of the endings of Wario Land 4. It's like the second. Yes. Pattern. Yes. Wait, wait. Rule 63 is the new one for me. Rule 63 oh, is Rule 63 the gender is bent basically. One. Yeah, it's like it's for every bent? male character, there's a female counterpart. Like no, it's it's yeah, like yeah. A, like an actual right, like a female version, you could say. All right. We, we do know Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan's interests, and also, technically, once they're older, uh, Goten and Trunks, because Vegeta has brought up that it's in the same blood to prefer stronger women. To prefer which, women who are strong or strong-willed. And that, which and explains then, and why Goku... Just like, it all makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, love, I love Piccolo's reactions as, like, Oh my god, everything makes sense now. Everything! God, that just be, that just reminded me of that meme of the muscular woman with the dating profile, like, you know? <laughs> like, like, oh, you know, our children were our children will conquer nations or something. <laughs> oh my god, the Jeep. I prefer a smaller Jeep man to ride on my videos. shoulders or something like that. <laughs> like, and that and the our children will conquer nations. Those are the two what? lines I remember. You know what? That, you know what, that explains why Trunks ends up with Mai! Yeah, yeah. As weird as that relationship is... Who, who the hell would Goten be with? God, I don't... I don't know. So many people have said Bola, and I'm like, those, those people need to be castrated right away. Yeah, no. Oh my God. <laughs> those, those people need to seek help. Or just not be allowed to breathe. Okay, so, why is that? Again, I'm not Ola, a DBZ fan, so I need Ola to know. I need context. Is, <laughs> because Ola is not only 12, if not 13 years younger than Goten, but also we've, but also we have never seen an adult Ola. So everyone's art just shows adult Goten and like eight-year-old Ola. That is People weird. People need to seek help. Okay. I was okay. gonna say, I was gonna okay. say, you had me at the 12 year age gap, but okay, that's even worse. Technically, we have. It's just not in a show that we like, that we like to consider. Okay. Mm, yeah. No, because, because he's a Or is she a teen in that game, in, the, in that one? In, GT is only five years after the, after time skip in Zeesh. That is when she is eight. That is one of my biggest problems with GT, is how messed up that shit is. Mm -hmm. she, should, she must have one hell of a fucking growth spurt then. Yeah, her and Pan. Because Pan is nine. Puberty hits like a truck, man. Not that goddamn early! Unless they've spent literal years in the I time didn't realize chain, puberty was an isekai. <laughs> puberty was an isekai. <laughs> God damn it. Let's get off this topic. Let's talk about... You know what? Let's let's talk about uh, Gohan and Videl and how they are goals. Yeah. Goals? Absolute goals, because Gohan and Videl have the... arguably the best relationship in the show. Well, they don't really argue that much. 
They don't, yeah, they don't argue that much. They both landed pretty much someone who's the, who's like the perfect package because for, for Gohan, he married a woman who is strong, like confident, stubborn, so she won't back down easily, super rich, and cleans up very well as we see in Super. And for Videl, she got literally the strongest man on the planet, who's also super kind and super smart. Like, they both just won the goddamn jackpot. And then, the, oh, then this relationship people. we see, then this relationship we see them having super, where, like, they are just a good couple. Like, I remember the, uh, the filler with, like, that movie star trying to ruin their relationship. And it's just pure honesty between the two of them. And then you look at Goku and Chi-Chi. Yeah. Oh boy, Goku and Chi-Chi. If you want, if you want to look, if you want to look at the absolute worst one. Uh, I, I, as Kaiser has pointed out, the anime does Chi-Chi no favors as it kind of accentuates the worst parts of her character. Yeah. For, oh, man. for the sake of humor, for the sake of humor, they kind of only really focus on her nagginess without showing any of the actual sweeter moments. Oh. Talking about Chi-Chi has just made me think of something really stupid but also really funny. What? Any of you guys ever watched uh, Malcolm in the Middle? Heard of it, never watched it. Um, so, Huey, the youngest of the three sons, and um, whatever the father's name was, the, uh, the guy played by Brian Cranston. I believe at one point, they were trying to get rid of a spider they found in the house. And in a panic, they opened the door. Right there was the mother bringing in the groceries and without looking the father just tossed the spider out right at her and then they close the door and he's just like oh what did we just do <laughs> and then and then Huey the the kid just bars the door and he's just like the worst mom can do is ground me go <laughs> <laughs> It it sh it just kind of shows. <laughs> and then and then we get to uh, on, on the good good side of the spectrum again. We go to eighteen in Krillin or Lazuli oh. in Krillin. Oh yeah, sorry that that's where I was going with it. So I basically just imagined that bit with um. Goku and Gohan, and it was Chi Chi bringing in the groceries. <laughs> yeah, I mean that also that it was a similar joke where Chi Chi was bringing the groceries from you know the filler with the car. Chi Chi had to run from a boar for three miles home, and she and she's like, "Okay, Goku, that's it. You're getting a license. You're getting a car. I'm not." Fucking walking to the grocery store ever again. Oh. Sorry, I just found a Which video has... of uh, a rat being petted while its tail is wagging. Oh, that sounds just adorable. completely relaxed on this dude's lap and just just wagging its tail a little, being pet. That sounds adorable. But yeah, yeah, rats are pretty good. I mean, they're misunderstood people. because they're kind of dirty, but I mean, they, they're good. They're good critters. My mother has a fear of mice and rats, and it's for the dumbest reason. What? Uh, when she was growing up, one time, under the kit- under, like, kitchen table, at her feet, there was a dead rat. Oof. That's- that's it? I mean, it's kind of- I mean, that's it's kind of it. gross, but- It's kind of gross, but it's certainly nothing like- It's so weird that that's what set in a lifelong crippling fear. Like, yeah, I guess that's a little gross, but, like, that's literally all that happened. Um, like, it, just a mouse it didn't even do anything. It was just a dead body. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why? Uh, weird. At least that's the story she told me. 
This woman lied as easy as she breathed, and I'm still trying to sort through everything she's ever told me to figure out what was really the truth and what was lies. I, that story just starts to strain so much credulity that there has to either be more, or it's just a rationale she put in her mind for an irrational fear. Even so, not very irrational. I know, well. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the whole Chi Chi car thing. As Kaisen Lion pointed out in the playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, it's real stupid Chi Chi demands Goku to get a car so that he can fly like at beyond light speeds and also can teleport. I was gonna I make a joke I was gonna make a joke and say like like why would I need to learn how to drive a car when I have a perfectly good Nimbus? I mean, there's also that! There's also that! He has the Nimbus! <laughs> why does he need to get a car? In fact, why is it that Chi Chi's demanding he get the car? She can drive, can't she? Well, I mean, maybe she's like... Maybe it's a self-awareness thing. She realizes that, you know... You know, women drivers don't and stuff, even, you know? Don't, don't I was trying to go there, but I was trying to set it up better. <laughs> To be fair, that's absolute bullshit in the Dragon Ball universe especially, because Bulma, the only, at the time the only other noteworthy female character, is not only an accomplished driver, but an accomplished pilot and astronaut. And she's just a freaking scientist. Yeah, so yeah, that, that shit should That's how you know anime isn't Dragon real. Ball, or Bulma's just an absolute savant. <laughs> Or both. I mean, a I mean, anime is meant to be fantasy, so I can understand why they did that. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Actually, you know, funny thing, on the topic of DBZ, I just remembered something. Um, you guys remember uh, this one thing with Johnny Bravo? It was like a call-in show, and kids would request, uh, like, episodes yes. of Johnny Bravo and stuff. I, rem yeah. I remember hearing about it. Never actually watched it myself at the time. Oh, I watched a number of episodes. Apparently, it was it was pretty good. Like these kids would actually call in and you know talk to the Johnny Bravo, the voice actor. You know they would call the, you know they would they'd call him, ask for cartoons and stuff. And well, this yep. one little girl asked uh, <laughs> asked to ask for an episode of Dragon Ball Z, and it's oh, like well they can't show it because it's like a half hour long. So what they did was. Uh, I love how the voice actor like went with this because what they did was they actually showed an episode of DBZ, but they fast forwarded it <laughs> to fit in the time slot. And they, the way he's just like commenting, like, "Whoa, look at that guy! Damn!" <laughs> just, oh oh man, God, he got blasted. Already... And then was after it was all over, he's like, "Yeah, sorry about that." Was it already been an hour and a half since we started? Yeah. Oh, by the way, I also forgot to tell you that you never said that you. Uh... Announced the stream was starting. Ah, shoot. Oh, and you one of the reasons I came in here, and then I heard you guys talking about airships, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I knew no, I forgot you've something. Just, you've just been an absolutely distracted mess. For good reason. We've been having fun. Ain't that right, Sky? Holy arrows. Wooden Sky, arrows. are you still there? <laughs> so, was I being pegged? Yeah, I was like... We, I was saying we didn't notice because we've been having absolute fun, and and so I was like, Rock Sky? And then dead <laughs> silence. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Very fair. We've gone off on numerous tangents. Okay, I posted that video that you I mentioned of the rat wagging it. 20 minutes. What are you talking about? It's actually been an hour of nothing but tangents. Well, this is cute. I posted that rat, you know, wagging its tail while being petted in another server, and someone responded, the equivalent to a dog thumping its foot when it gets good scratches. Aww. Oh my god, that is, just, that is absolutely <laughs> Pretty precious. much. That is absolutely precious. I love it. But yeah, I also posted it in Pets and Animals, so... Also, I also I posted some uh, some OC Pokemon memes in the uh, Pokemon channel. I don't I don't know where the idea for this came from, but it's like, you know what? This is perfect. Uh. Oof. 
That was a big hit on Bob. There we go. Griffin's down. So now I actually have the White Slayer. <laughs> Nard skill up. Monkey level up. Bob level up. Nice. So the thing, the thing in the food in the food channel with the ramen. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah. I'm saying you're like, what? <laughs> Don't tell me you've been doing it too. Oh hell no! I used to do it when I was a kid, but not anymore. I Same. The fucking letters, thank you. Same. But thank fuck. I I'm legitimately shocked at the number of people who are like, wait, you weren't supposed to microwave that? I mean, these are the same people that you know. They're the reason why fire starter logs have a warning that says flammable. Oh yeah. I, I reference that every time I describe the stupidity of like mankind these days. It's like, I sure fucking hope the fire starter logs are flammable. <laughs> it, 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 it this this does also remind me of the time that uh, a box a of box cutter knives got recalled for being sharp. It's like <laughs> I mean they better be sharp the box cutters. Okay. Expecting box cutters to be dull? They're meant for cutting through cardboard. Oof. Uh, potion. Cast ice, and let's have. When I, saw that picture, when I saw that picture in general, I immediately went to one like that motherfucker here, the deer. Yeah, that was what? my first thought too, but at the same time, I felt like a deer would have made a bigger uh, splatter. I think a deer, like given the size oh, of a deer, it probably wouldn't be there sure. either. It'd probably be more on the hood, or at least like. Somewhere on the. Uh... You, you would be you would be surprised. I have actually hit a deer before. I mean, unless it was like just like a baby deer or something, but there yeah, like a fawn. Like... Mm. There was literally yeah. no flyer anywhere on my on my car. Mm. Okay, that zombie's I mean, down. Deer hides are pretty tough. Mm. Just oh, don't no, hit a fun. just don't hit a moose. A with, just don't hit a moose. Whatever you do. Oh uh, yeah, if you hit a moose, you will not be surviving that. Yeah, the car is totaled and the moose is like, huh, did something hit me? Oh well. Like, they, they don't give a shit. I mean, they are like, they are I kings mean, of the forest. I'm so, I'm so, I was, yeah. I was never going, I was never going to run you over anyways. Are you calling him a moose? Well, <laughs> Koki likes to call me Moose Man and stuff, so there's uh... that. I'm really referencing Koki's nickname for him. No. I'm, I'm sorry, but the, the minute that was said, I was like, Burger? <laughs> God damn it. He's not, he's not the carib, he's not the green-haired caribou chick. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell, though. Wait, the, the who now? There, there's a VTuber who's supposed to be like the spirit of the forest character named uh, uh, Haruka a... Karibu. And oh, but Taka, Taka constantly refers to her as a moose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, does. I, be I believe they're also both Canadian. I believe that she's also Canadian, just like Taka. So maybe. Now, now I'm just thinking of the the perfect joke Taka did when uh, playing that. Well, the. Uh, I'm brain falling right now. Speaking of Haruka. Oh, wait. Yeah. Brain farting? I don't think I'm technically supposed to say say anything on this one. What's up? Mainly it's because it's during somebody's stream and basically promoting somebody else's stream. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going you know, to be like, uh, I'm probably not going to say it. Yeah, uh, oh, no, I remember, no, I remember. 
Uh, speaking of Taka in Canada, I love the joke he did during one of the South Park games where he, when they went into Canada in the game, he changed his VTuber model to be like the Canadians from South Park. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, that fucking model, hold on. <laughs> I mean... Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, is it, okay, is it worse than why, Taka? Is it worse than Wide Taka? Yeah, Wide Taka, where he was like, he made Wide Taka as a joke because he was like, you know, all these, all these lay VTubers just keep going bigger and bigger. So you know what we male VTubers have to do? We also have to go bigger. And so he made a VTuber that's like wide. super chunky. <laughs> Is wide. Yeah, wide. It's like. If they're going bigger, then so must we! Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I like the getting hit sprite for the Black Mage. I think it's funny. What? Let me see if I can... Uh... uh. uh. Might have to look into it, or like I'll I'll look on a sprite site and uh, see if I can find it. But uh, unlike the first couple of games, uh, this game actually ha actually started giving all your playable characters uh, unique sprites for when they're getting hit. And in this case, it's depending on whatever class they they are. So. There's like Ooh. one for the monk, one for the red mage, one for the black mage, which I think is funny. Bob, you keep missing. Why do you keep missing? I said he was the I said he was the serious one. I didn't say he was the most accurate. Yeah, he's seriously missing. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Which means you are seriously doing nothing seriously. <laughs> the essence of mimicry. Greedy? Mim mimicry. Because in uh, Final Fantasy V, one of the optional uh, crystal jobs that you can get is Mime. But in order to get that, you have to quote-unquote fight the Mimic Master Gogo. And I say quote-unquote fight because the way to win his fight is to do absolutely fucking nothing. Because if you were to attack, he would attack in return. If you were to cast a spell, he would cast a spell in return. So the only way to really bypass him is to just not do anything. Yep, the way to win is to stand perfectly still. We okay. Call of Duty stole this. <laughs> nice pro Jared reference. <laughs> Actually, I should probably I should probably head outside. Oh, right. I forgot I could do that. And it has a neat nifty little jingle and animation to go with it. If I just wanted to uh change characters. Um Uh, if I go to the item shop, what do we have? I do have a lot of money.
Oh, and we get a discount if we buy in bulk. We still can't afford it. No, that's okay. I already bought like 20. You're going on a journey? I won't take your money. Please rest well. What's in here? It's the pub. With the valley blocked by that rock, I haven't been able to get back to Canaan. All there is to do is sit in here and drink. Hick. Hey, try playing the piano. You'll need antidotes and eye drops if you're going on a journey. And then there's a cute girl. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm a dancer. Yes, yes you are. Trying to remember where this tune is originally from. I want to say Swan Lake. Wait, can you actually play the piano? <laughs> How do you like it? And then booze from everybody. They they went to. They went to reuse that gag in um, Final Fantasy V. I forget if you really got anything for playing every single piano in the game once, but I'll guess your strength. Hmm, fighter, monk, black wizard, red wizard. There, I bet I'm right. And those who are sleeping, I'm sorry, how the heck are you getting on top of their beds while they're sleeping? Because the collision detection on these beds is weird. Broken is what it is. Ooh, found a potion. Alright, let's see. Actually, I don't think I ever did check up here. I'm picking flowers. I think I remember there being a Pokemon ROM hack where, um, what was it? In there was a field of flowers, and if you stepped on them all, then the flower girl tending to them would go berserk, and she would outright attack you, and she would just demolish you. I'm sorry, are you talking about Breath of the Wild? <laughs> there was a scene in the Breath of the Wild about that, yes, but uh, somebody actually mimicked that scene in a ROM hack of um, Pokemon Emerald, I think it was. Alright, uh... Hmm. Anybody else remember the meme Calamity Fla Flower Girl? Calamity what? Flower Girl. <laughs> that was literally a thing for like the longest time. I feel old because I remember the days of the Calamity Shopkeeper. I heard that there was a young boy who stole a shovel from his shop, and then the moment he came back... I wasn't lying when I said pay! <laughs> now you'll pay the ultimate price! About I cut that price in half! <laughs> Keep the shopkeep just back ends of the way. And then Link's just like. I was, I was literally shit. just trying to make a reference to cyanide and happiness on that one. <laughs> As he literally cuts the guy in half with his freaking hand. Ooh, hey, shadow. Hey guys, I did, I did a thing and like cut, like cut the opponent. But they don't fall down until after. I, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, 
You don't have a sword. I love that. 14 to 15 are dead! Good. Damage is undead. Fourteen and fifty have been destroyed. Good. I love that. Gina, he stole you too. I'll kill him. Vegeta, he stole you too. I'll kill him. Ah, dang it. I love how Vegeta screams, Someone stupid get in my way, as he's being fucking flung at Krillin. <laughs> Wait, what? Catching Vegeta really fucked my shit up. Why Krillin's in the hospital and like all these casts without like because we didn't show Krillin trying to fight Super 13 and getting his shit shoved in. Because, yes, in the original version of the Android 13 movie, Krillin for some reason tries to fight him. Wait, what? Yeah, in the original version of the Android 13 movie, like, not the TFS one, for some reason, Krillin... Krillin tries to fight Android 13 to give... the uh, Super 13 to give Goku time? And it's like, it's like, you're not gonna last even a second. Does he really need to, though? He doesn't! That's the whole thing! He's not even gonna last long, all that long. Like, if Vegeta gets bent in half by a, by Super 13, and like Piccolo gets bent in half by by Super 13, how the hell is Krillin gonna do shit? He's not. That's the joke. <laughs> so yeah, they have Krillin be put in the hospital. From having to catch Vegeta. Didn't didn't they actually go over something like that in um, one of the abridged shorts where Krillin and Android 18 went on a date? I don't think that was in Android 18, honestly. Uh, I don't remember for sure, so. I don't think it was. Okay, so good news. This seems to be uh, the Pokemon status effect deal where each character in the party can only be hit by one status effect at a time. Well, that's cool. lucky. <laughs> For context, Nard and Roof are blind and Monkey is poisoned. Gotcha. And Bob is on 69 health. Nice. Uh, you know what? I think I'm at a, an early part where I'll need to do a little grinding off screen just to like get my levels up. Go. 
am I looking as far as money? A decent amount of money. Is there any other magic I can get? Uh, nope. Okay. Oh, I missed. Ooh, maybe a little armor ought to help. Get out of my way! Oh, wait, nope, never mind. Uh. I think I'll grab some. Eye drops. There we go. All right, and let's go ahead and use them. Right, this is the game that introduced the front row, back row system, I think. Because I forget if Final Fantasy 2 had that. Alright, uh... Alright, let's see who we can raid and what we can raid with. Uh, let's see... Hmm... We could raid Idol Cafe, but uh, they're playing Devour, which is a spooky game, and it's after Halloween, so... Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's raid them. going to raid with and Bob and Bob uh, let's see tomorrow I believe will be a morning shift at work uh, oh no I stand corrected. Uh, it'll be a late afternoon shift at work. So tomorrow will be an evening stream, but it will be later than usual. Uh, for that stream, I'll probably be trying to finish up Castlevania. All right. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Let's go ahead and raid. So Sky, Final Fantasy 9 tomorrow?